Time now to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. With us this morning is Brad Appleton. Good morning, Brad. Hey, good morning, Ashley. How are you? I'm doing great. So Kanye was building these houses. We talked to you about this, I believe, last week. But he's run into mm -hmm. a little bit of a problem. What's going on? He has, and the problem are some angry neighbors. Uh, they complain, saying that uh, construction is going on at all hours of the night and during the day. So they called the Department of Building and Safety, uh, who went over to the house, over to the property, and checked out these housing prototypes that Kanye's been building, uh, and determined that he does need permits, or the structures will have to come down. Uh, we're told what the construction team told advisors is that you know these are only a temporary thing. It's just a prototype. We're working on some things. It's nothing permanent uh, but nonetheless the Department of Building and Safety said that this thing has to come down by September 15th or uh, there'll be some serious violations uh, that the crew will have to pay for. Well we know the Kanye is always full of ideas so we'll have to see what happens with this but you know at least he's coming <laughs> we'll up see with how stuff. Cody pulls I, out. I give him credit for that. <laughs> right. Sticking with the kind of Kardashian right. crew a little bit here uh, Lamar Odom's making headlines again. We know him here in Rhode Island from his URI basketball days and he recently was supposed to be here for the big three but he got ousted from that as well but he seems to be rebounding okay. He does, and uh, he hit up one of the most popular spots in Los Angeles for paparazzi, a restaurant called Craig's in West Hollywood. Uh, and he didn't go solo. He went with his new love interest, Sabina Parr. Uh, and there have been a lot of rumors of the two. We actually got a photo of them in Atlanta uh, out together. But then there were reports that the relationship was only fake. Uh, last night it seemed very real, or they just hit up this restaurant with a lot of paparazzi just to kind of prove a point that, hey, we're okay. Uh, he was asked a lot of questions. He didn't say much. Uh, but Lamar definitely knew what he was doing uh, in going to Craig's last night. Yeah, definitely knew there were going to be some people there snapping pictures of him. But of course, we always wish right. Lamar the best. He's been through a lot, so hopefully he's just in a good place. And heading over to Hollywood with Meghan Markle, she has her old house up for sale. I guess she didn't get rid of it yet. And by L.A. standards, is this somewhat affordable? Uh, it you know what? I was actually just going to say that. It's, uh, it's listed at $1.8 which seems like a lot. But for the area and everything, it's not too bad. Uh, this is a, just over 2,000 square feet, uh, four bed, three bath. Uh, it's actually the place that she lived in before she met Harry and moved overseas. Uh, so it is lived in. Uh, it's a nice little spot, though. And like I said, if you got $1.8 laying around, you can live like royalty here on the West Coast. Yeah, and for West Coast, I feel like that's that's really not too bad. So hopefully somebody will not you know grab, grab that <laughs> quickly. Thanks, Brad. You can catch right. TMZ TV on our sister station, Fox Providence, at 7:30 p.m.